Hello, my name is Karen McCrone. I am a health improvement practitioner for the Healthy Ageing Team, Public Health. This presentation is about later life planning, why it is essential, and about the later life planning resource. We all age. That is a fact of life and is compulsory. From the day we are born, we are ageing. How we age, however, is not compulsory. A large proportion of how we age is through the choices we make in life. Planning to change the way we age. Why do we need to plan? Why take time now to plan for later life? You make choices and decisions rather than leaving things to chance or letting others make decisions for you. You can establish how much time you have to give to each area of your life now to give you the best opportunities for the later life you want to have. Having a sense of purpose keeps you happier, more relaxed and gives you peace of mind. It helps you to see your later life from a new perspective. It helps you to be able to look back in later life with no regrets. The Healthy Ageing team went out into the community at older people's events and asked what advice would you give to a younger person about planning for later life? These were some of the responses. Sort yourself out, both socially and emotionally. Finances, especially retiring at age 55. Make the right choices. I didn't know anything. I just finished work and that was it. People don't think about preparing financially at a younger age. Look for something to do. Don't sit at home. If you haven't got money, you can't do the things you want to do. I would have liked to stay and work for longer. Even if you don't have a private pension, put some money away. Socialise with friends and relatives. Join groups. Have something in mind for things to do before you retire. Keep active, walking, gardening, etc. The Later Life Planning Resource is a self-help resource designed to give each person that completes it the foresight into their own lives from an earlier age to then be able to make plans for their later lives. To enable decisions to be made about changes that may be needed now whilst there are still several years ahead so that those changes can make a difference later. Also, so that their hindsight in later life is, I made plans and was prepared. The Later Life Planning resource covers six areas. Planning for retirement and after, staying in work, getting back into work, bereavement, preparing for own possible care and other life transitions. Um, the one that we've concentrated on in this presentation is emptiness syndrome. Each of the six areas of the Later Life Planning resource take you through a series of questions that you can answer relevant to your own personal circumstances, contain links to further information and advice, can be revisited as circumstances change and another area may become more of a priority. These questions help you to focus on what you need to be looking at now to plan for later. Planning for retirement and after. Do you have a pension or other source of income for later life? Are you planning to live on state pension? Will the state pension, your private or work pension, cover what you would like it to in later life? Check with your pension provider or providers to make sure your pension will be sufficient for what you want to do after retirement. Think about your plans now. What would you like to do in later life? What will your income be? What savings do you have? Do you have any other sources of income that can be included? 
Cliff Edge Retirement is when you reach retirement and there is no time left to put things in place for what you want to do or for how long you want to do them for. A study by the Centre for Ageing Better and the Pensions Policy Institute in June 2021 found that many adults currently below state pension age are at risk of inadequate retirement income. YouGov figures from the Centre for Ageing Better and Calusta Gulbenkian Foundation in a survey carried out with 2,000 people in the UK, they found that 56% of people who had retired in the last five years revealed they didn't seek any advice or help to prepare, prepare for the change in lifestyle. 19% said they wanted more advice or support. Of these, 45% on managing money during retirement, 33% on how to maintain or improve their health in retirement, and 30% on thinking about how they wanted to spend their time. 39% would have liked more advice or support on how retirement would affect them emotionally. Some comments from people who are already in later life. Check the length of time that your private pension pays out for. Some private pensions may only pay a pension for a limited time, sometimes only 20 years. If retiring at age 55, then that pension may run out by age 75, something to think, take into account. Sort out your social life before you retire. It is much harder to do afterwards. What social connections will you have post-retirement and how will you make new connections? Many of your friends and family may still be working full-time when you retire, especially if you retire early. So who will you socialise with? What social connections can you make now that you will take into later life? How will you make sure you stay as healthy as possible into later life so that you can do all the things you want to do? What changes do you need to make now to maintain fitness levels through life? For example, more exercise, healthier food and drink intake, looking after your mental health, etc. Staying in work, remaining in employment up to and beyond state retirement age. There is no longer a retirement age. You can work for as long as you feel able to. Staying in work helps to maintain social connections. If you want to stay in work for longer, how will you decide that? What would suit you? What might the obstacles be to staying in work and how would you overcome them? Maybe you still want to work and stay in your current employment but need changes. Maybe you want to do something different. What transferable skills do you have? Do you have a skill that you enjoy that could be a paid self-employment? For example, do you have a hobby that you really enjoy that could become a paid hobby? Or could you take those skills into other employment? Maybe something you have always wanted to do. You don't have time right now and perhaps need a full-time income, but could maybe do something else in later life, perhaps part-time. Look ahead beyond the here and now. The Later Life Planning resource helps you to look at your own circumstances and offers several links to useful advice for being an older employee or for coping with health conditions at work. Everyone's circumstances are different. Your decisions will be based on your own personal circumstances. It shouldn't but does become harder to get back into work after the age of 50. Unemployed over 50s are two and a half times as likely as other age groups to be unemployed for at least two years. And that's from the Office of National Statistics. Getting back into work. There are many reasons you may want or need to get back into work. Some examples are redundancy, end of caring responsibilities, a career break to bring up children, travel the world, etc a long period of sickness that you needed to leave work for, and many other reasons. This resource gives sources of help that are available to get back into work, 
Maybe you would like to volunteer to make new social connections and pursue that into paid employment. Volunteering often leads to paid employment. Bereavement. Especially of a close family member can lead to, lead to a sense of hopelessness, loneliness and social isolation. There are two things certain in life, we are born and we die. We make plans for a birth but very rarely for death. How do you plan for bereavement? The questions in the resource help you to do that. It guides you through the discussions to have with family about your and their wishes. Practical thinking and planning ahead gives a sense of peace of mind going forward for you to know your family's wishes and for them to know yours and to have everything in place ready is very calming and reduces stress on everyone when the time comes. Many times an individual will say, I wish I had asked that after someone has died. Take the time to talk and ask now. For example, mum makes a delicious recipe that is loved by all the family. The recipe is only in her head, it isn't written down anywhere. Think about what she would miss when a person is no longer here and record it. What do you or they do or know that would be lost? The resource also guides you to plan for maintaining social connections. A comment from an older person who was recently bereaved. I wish I had known what to do when my husband died suddenly. I didn't know where anything was, where to go or what to do. Preparing for own possible care. We don't like to think that one day we may need to be cared for, but it is something very important to consider for plans for later life. The Later Life Planning resource helps you to open up these discussions with your family so that you can plan for your own possible care and also the well-being of the person who will care for you. So who would care for me? How could I make life better for my carer? How can I make sure they don't become lonely and isolated? Who else would care for me to give my main carer a respite? Would I want my family or friends caring for me at all? What other options are there? Can I make preparations now for the event that I may need to be cared for? For example, if you are having work done to your home, such as an extension, think about future-proofing and put in ramps instead of steps, wider doors, accessible cupboards, a shower downstairs. Would I be able to live downstairs in later life if I needed to be cared for at home? Do I need to think about making an advanced directive, that's a living will, so that my wishes are known in the event that I need to be cared for? Some comments from carers. I wish I had known in advance what I needed to do or know when I suddenly became a carer. Carers often don't think about their own futures and don't make plans. No one ever thinks they will need to be cared for and it can come as a shock. But other life changes. Avoiding empty nest syndrome. A life change we have included in the resource is one that affects many people. Preparing for children leaving home or empty nest syndrome. It is pretty much inevitable that if you have children, when they grow up, they will leave home. It can take you by surprise. Um, for example, your grown child may suddenly leave and move in with someone else with no warning. Making later life plans for this time in your life can help to avoid empty nest syndrome and loneliness and social isolation. Many people's social connections are attached to their children as they bring them up. The Later Life Planning resource helps you to look at your own social connections, especially with your family and partner if you have one. It helps you to think about what you can do when your children have left home and what you can do for yourself as well as your children to maintain social connections that will extend past their childhood. There is helpful advice on this page as well as links. There will possibly be other life changes that you think of that are personal to you. It would be impossible to cover all life changes for all individuals in this resource, but this resource can prompt you to think about those personal life changes 
and plan for them financially, socially, physically and emotionally. At the end of the Later Life Planning resource is a table where you can prioritise all those things that are most important for you personally to start making plans now of changes for your later life. The Carers Hub at Queen's Cross helped to co-produce and develop the Later Life Planning resource. During this process and piloting the resource, they developed a slightly different resource specifically for carers' needs, and they work through this plan together with carers of any age. There has been excellent feedback from this and how it is changing carers' lives for the better. If you want to know more about this and you are a carer, uh, contact Dudley Carers Hub and their website details are on this slide. Some feedback from people that have used the resource. I think the document is ideal and I have no doubt that everyone should take part in completing one. It's very useful and allows for important decisions to be made and documented. This is a really good idea. It's things I have always got in the back of my mind that haven't got around to sorting or even know how to. The work the Carers Hub have been doing with the carers in relation to later life planning using the plan has been amazing. Life planning for carers is just what we need. I think this is great and I think it can actually be given to younger people. Some inspirational quotes for later life. Look forward to each new day. Every day is precious. Aging well is about quality and quantity adding life to the years as well as years to life. Keep up with changes, don't get left behind. Lifelong learning is essential for everyone to manage aspects of life. We are the pattern makers and breakers of our own existence. The trick to ageing gracefully is to enjoy it. Go somewhere different, try something different, surprise yourself. Make healthy choices and stay physically fit. Participation in art and culture helps people live longer, healthier lives. Share leisure pursuits, sports, dancing, singing, etc. Be self-reliant as nothing is guaranteed. So to start your later life planning, for your copy of the later life planning resource, please call 01384 816437 or email Karen at dudley.gov.uk or you can download it um, from the email address, this the website address on this slide. Thank you for watching this presentation. I hope you found it useful.